So on our homestead, we heat our house 100% with wood. Uh, we do have a propane furnace in the house, uh, but we don't turn it on. We don't even light the pilot light because uh, it's just too expensive to use. So uh, we, heat, we heat completely with wood. Our goal, uh, long term, is to be able to cut and split all of our own wood. Unfortunately, these first couple of years on the homestead, we just haven't been able to accomplish that, and we are buying some wood each year uh, to help heat our house. Um, I do cut some of my own. I have it back in the woods. Um, I'm actually going to haul it up here today as well that I've already cut over the last winter. Uh, but it's just not enough to get us through the whole winter. So uh, this year we'll buy probably three cords of wood from a local uh, place that delivers it. And so that's what I'm doing today is just getting some stacked up. Uh, we'll start with what I have left from last year and the stuff that I cut myself out in the woods. And then we'll use this later on in the winter. So it's one of those things, you know, we just can't uh, do everything right now. Last winter when I should have been splitting and cutting wood, we were putting up our greenhouse, we were expanding our gardens. Um, and those things really are more important to us than the firewood. Uh, firewood is something we can buy every year if we need to. Um, and the greenhouse and the gardens, those had to take priority last year. So I'm going to be spending a good part of this week uh, getting wood delivered and stacked and uh, get it ready for winter. Because we have an inside stove, some of these pieces I feel are just a little big for our stove. Uh, so some of them I'm just splitting into smaller pieces. It'll uh, first of all make them season just a little faster and it will just to be a little easier for loading into our wood stove in the house. Someday a wood splitter would be nice also, but for now that's my wood splitter. I'm kind of stacking smaller pieces over here off to the side. Um, I'll put those kind of at the top of the pile since I know they'll be ready to use first. Um, and then these bigger pieces can stay longer until we need them later in the winter. I wanted to take a minute to uh, kind of give you an update on something that happened this weekend. Uh, for those of you who follow us on Facebook, uh, you already know uh, my dad had a pretty uh, scary incident this weekend. My mom called us all frantic from Arizona that uh, she had just called 911 for an ambulance to come. Uh, looked like my dad was having a heart attack. Uh, he was very pale. He was uh, throwing up. I couldn't breathe. Uh, his heart was felt really weird. Some chest pains. Um, the ambulance came. They got him kind of squared away. Uh, took him uh, to the emergency room. Um, you know, did all kinds of tests. Turns out uh, it wasn't an actual heart attack. Uh, his heart uh, was in what they call AFib. Um, they said kind of the bottom of his heart was pumping really hard and the top of his heart wasn't pumping much at all. And his potassium level was very, very low. So they were able to uh, get him pumped up with some uh, potassium and fluids and get his heart straightened out. And he's back home now uh, feeling a lot better uh, and trying to get in with a cardiologist. So. Uh, we're still praying, um, and I wanted to thank all of you who follow us on Facebook uh, for praying for him this weekend. Uh, we know that prayer works, so uh, I'll keep you guys updated on how he's doing. Putting up another tree stand today. Found another good spot for hunting. So I'm going to take this new tree stand that I put together the other day. We're going to take it back to the woods and we're going to get it set up. And then hopefully this will be my new spot for hunting this year.
So this is the scariest part of putting one of these up. I now I need to climb up there and I need to put the ratchet strap around the tree. And until that's around the tree and tight, it's really not very secure. So that just makes me a little nervous, but I'm gonna do it anyway. All right, success. I'll let you guys know how many deer I get from up there. Well, we're back here in the woods putting up the tree stand. We're also going to load up some firewood that I cut last winter. I've just had it laying back here, so we're gonna load it in the trailer uh, so I can take it up to the house and split it up. All right, well, we got the trailer loaded up. We're gonna take all this firewood back to the house and add it to what we have at the house. You know, one thing that we're learning quickly on the homestead is that we always need to be preparing for the season that's coming up. Uh, you know, it's hard to think about winter and cutting firewood when it's 95 degrees outside and you're sweating and you don't really wanna think about, you know, winter around the corner, but you have to be, just like we start planning over our garden in December by looking at seeds and you know getting things ready in the greenhouse. We're so glad that you joined us today. If this is the first time that you're visiting our channel, right now is the perfect time to hit the subscribe button below. Uh, before you go, if you can share this video on all of your social media, we would love that. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Until next time, thanks so much for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless. God bless.